Today we are looking at every single vaulted weapon and item ever in the history of Fortnite. Welcome everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day with the recent vaulting of the Fortnite sword and everyone praising the fact that it's no longer in the game. I thought what better time than now to look at every single vaulted weapon and item in the game going all the way back to one weapon that's only ever been seen in action one time and taking a look at weapons that most of you may have never even used and why specifically they were taken out of the game and whether or not they'll ever return to the world of Fortnite as well. If you guys are excited for this, give it a thumbs up. We've got a lot to take a look at and if you're new around here, subscribe for daily videos, turn notifications on to make sure you're never missing anything as we dive into this long, long list of everything that's ever been vaulted in Fortnite. As always, make sure you're using code Hey, it's me, Ali A, within the Fortnite store. It's Christmas time, and we've got loads of Christmas skins coming our way. So all of these guys have done it. If you do it too, you could get a shout out in the next video. So thank you everyone so much. So kicking off and working in reverse order, we have the Zappatron Sniper. Those of you that were around when Fortnite very first came out, you will have heard the rumors. You will have seen the one and only clip of this weapon in action as a streamer picked it up from a supply drop and absolutely destroyed someone with it. It used his own ammo type called Cell Ammo and was in the game apparently for only an hour or so and this is literally the only clip on the internet of it being used. It was taken out almost instantly. Fortnite said it didn't feel like it fit the theme and um, everything else that had been designed within the world of Battle Royale so it was taken out and never returned to the game. Now this weapon is available within Save the World but but the likelihood is it will never return to Battle Royale unless Fortnite just decide they want to put it in for a throwback weapon. But this is definitely the rarest of all the items that have ever been vaulted. And that one person that managed to use it was a very lucky person indeed. Next up, we have traps. And for those of you guys who didn't play back in the day, there were actually multiple traps depending on which type of wall or surface you were putting your trap down on. We had ceiling traps, we had wall traps, we had specific jump pads and directional pads, all that were originally in the game and were honestly super awkward to access. You had to go through a menu to choose which type of wall you wanted to put down and eventually you'd get to the trap. I think I only ever placed these once or twice, but they were extremely, extremely powerful. And since then, obviously, have been converted into just the single spike trap that we now know that originally could only be placed on the floor, but now could be placed on both the ceiling, the walls around you. And as a result, these other traps that were originally in the game have not returned, apart from the slightly altered jump pad, which was enlarged, turned into bounce pads, as we now know them. But back in the day, originally, both a directional and jump pad would only fit up a quarter of the place on the ground you're actually putting it on and allow you to be lobbed in just one single direction. For anyone that remembers these, you've been around, you've been playing Fortnite literally since the beginning. Now, it's common knowledge that SMGs are pretty good within Fortnite, but not if you jump back a year ago. The original SMG, only available in grey, green and blue, was honestly hot trash. The only reason you'd ever use this gun was if you landed and it was the first weapon you found, you'd probably pick a pistol up over it if you could shoot faster enough it was honestly that bad but it was one of the original weapons to be within Fortnite and one of the very first weapons to actually be vaulted simply because it wasn't that good it had a high fire rate but very very low damage and as a result it just didn't kill very quickly its magazine emptied very quickly and it just wasn't a very effective killing weapon at all now, SMGs did see a slight buff uh, just before the original SMG was taken away, where it did a little bit more damage, had a little bit bigger magazine size, and it definitely made it useful and actually quite viable within Fortnite. But back in the day when it was first in the game, it was not recommended you'd use it. You'd normally be running an assault rifle, maybe two shotguns back in the day when you could double pump, and then some medical healing kits and a sniper, but the SMGs were really, really not good. 
I highly doubt that this weapon will come back into the game simply because of how many other SMGs were in there and how bad it was back in the day. So we'll probably never see this gun back in Fortnite ever again. Next up, we have the smoke grenade. It was a fun addition to the game. And uh, when I first used it, I managed to pull off some plays where I could distract the enemy. But overall, it was a pretty useless item. It has since been replaced with what we know as the stink bomb, which is a really good weapon. And I like to use it whenever I pick them up. But the smoke bomb was taken out pretty quickly as soon as Fortnite realized that it wasn't really that effective. People weren't using it very much and it was being left on the ground pretty much across the whole map. So what's the point of having an item in the game if it's not being used very effectively? With obviously the stink grenade having been added in and giving both the effect of the smoke grenade with distorted vision and but also damage as well, I'm pretty sure we'll never see the smoke bomb return unless they make it bigger, better and an actual good reason to use them. Next up we've got the crossbow. The crossbow was added in initially as a Valentine's update and was a really fun weapon which actually fired pretty quickly and could deal decent damage, uh, at least distract people and you'd have no idea where the shot was coming from because it was silent. It was the first weapon to not actually use a specific ammo type and just have infinite ammo. You could constantly shoot off the arrows and then reload once your clip was empty and just keep on shooting again and again and again. It was certainly a fun weapon. Dealing headshots made it really effective, but it was more of a mess around trolley kind of weapon than anything else. It wouldn't deal any damage to structures and as a result, probably not too much reason for you to actually keep hold of it. After the initial release in the Valentine's update, it did return without the love heart effects all over it as a normal crossbow, but was since vaulted again and there has been in-game files pointing at the fact that we may get an explosive crossbow, but at the moment, no extra news on that. But the crossbow is a fun item and definitely something I think we'll be seeing coming back in different variants because of those in-game files at some point in the near future, so keep an eye out for it. Now when I said you guys probably know SMGs as being really good weapons in the game, now you'll start to realise why as we see just how many have been vaulted simply because of how good they were. The tactical submachine gun is another weapon that was in fact one of the very first additional weapons into the game alongside the scoped assault rifle right back when Fortnite first came out. Uh, and the tactical submachine gun along with the original SMG was never that good but if you're going to choose one of the two the tactical submachine gun was better simply because it dealt a little bit more damage and shot a little bit slower meaning it didn't just wipe through its magazine instantly. Now along with the original SMG it did actually have a buff and it made it stronger, it made it even better and at one point I was only running around with the tactical SMG, I was not even picking up shotguns. This weapon was destructive, the purple version of the TAC SMG had a 1% spawn chance for floor loot and if you found it I would honestly be as happy to see it as a scar. That's how good the weapon was back in the day, it was amazing and I miss it so so much. A cool looking gun, an effect weapon but the likelihood is we won't see it again simply because of how many SMGs are already in the game. Now I'm sure you along with myself love the hand cannon but before the hand cannon we had the build up to the epic and legendary version with the grey, green and blue magnum. It was a weapon that has been in the game since day one. It was fairly ineffective unless you managed to land a headshot. And the only time I've really seen great success with this weapon was during the snipers only mode when they allowed you to have the magnum as a second secondary and I went on to get a magnum only victory whilst shooting between two weapons and just firing them off as quickly as I could. Now let's remember that back in the day Fortnite didn't have 100% accuracy so the magnum just really was not very effective at all but even there with its slow fire rate and its inability to really deal too much damage too quickly it was never that good and as a result it was put in the vault and now that we've got the magnum in the game which fires quicker from the hip than the revolver and is essentially the upgraded version. We'll probably never see the revolver back in the game again, but trust me, you've not really missed out on much. It wasn't that good. So this next one, this, this tears me up a little bit. One of my favorite ever weapons within Fortnite. You thought I loved the tactical SMG. Well, along came the drum gun and oh my gosh, was it insane. A huge magazine dealing massive damage and I would often rock two of them. I love them so much. This thing was insane. 
Not only could this thing shred through players, but it could shred through buildings as well because of its large magazine size, making it a fan favorite weapon whilst it was out for almost everyone and actually got nerfed to make it even worse whilst it was available. And in the end, Epic decided it was just a little bit too much and took it out the game. However, they glitched a little bit and actually kept it in a limited time mode longer than it was meant to be. I managed to use it for one last time and go on and get a massive kill in solo versus squads, I think it was. So that's my last memory of the weapon. A very fond memory. I would love it if a drum gun would come back. I don't think it will, but Epic, if you're watching this video, please bring it back just for me. Even if it's for a day, I would love you so much. This weapon was insane. So we've covered a lot so far, but we've still got a lot more. And the next set of vaulted items and weapons all went at the same time. It was absolutely insane. It just took a load out of the game. First looking at the impulse grenade, it was an item added and originally into the game that was really different. And I remember when it first came out and, and I knew that it could push you and push an enemy. I don't really know what to do with it and I don't think anyone knew what to do with it initially. Uh, I think in my very first gameplay, I just tried to throw it at the enemy. It didn't really do anything. Obviously, it was used mainly to actually project yourself over to the enemy and basically make leaps that weren't normally possible and became a really versatile item within the world of Fortnite and definitely switched up how everyone moved around the map and even how people approached other enemies as well. Since taken out, obviously we have uh, the bigger, badder version in the form of a shockwave grenade because the impulse grenade did take full damage from wherever you ended up landing. So it was also a risky item to use as well. Alongside that, saw the goodbye of the remote explosive. Initially a blue rare item within the game, then changed to purple epic because they wanted to make it a little bit rarer. This thing was just nuts. I remember whenever I landed in Tilted and I got it, it would literally blow it up in a few clicks of the C4 remote. It's very, very similar to what we now have in the form of the TNT, uh, except it was controllable. You could put it down, wait, explode it whenever you wanted to. You could stack them even more and hold even more in your inventory. And basically it was just ridiculously overpowered. Competitive people would use it to destroy other people's bases really quickly. And with the new version uh, in the form of the TNT, I don't think we'll see the remote explosive return, unfortunately, but it was certainly a fun item whilst it was in the game. Now this made everyone really, really sad, but the next item that was removed alongside it was the bounce pad. Uh, obviously we'd had the impulse grenades, we'd had the introduction of the original launch pad, God, I almost forgot the name of it there, but the bouncer was such an effective item item to get away from situations fast, get into situations fast, and build up vertically fast. It was so, so useful and had so many uses. I'm actually not too sure why they took it out of the game. I don't think they felt it was too overpowered or even underpowered. I think it was more the fact that Epic Games wanted to control how we were getting around the map. Obviously now in this day and age with season seven, we've got planes, we've got zip lines, and each season would always introduce a new way of getting around the map. So with all of those new movement features alongside the bouncer, they decided it would be a little bit too much. I really hope to this day that that item does end up returning because of how versatile it was, but I'm not too sure. It's all in Epic Games' hands. Every season we see a new way of getting around the map. Let's just hope the bouncers come back too. So those were all the items removed with the start of season six. The two weapons we'll start off with initially the silenced SMG. This was the first suppressed weapon to be added into the game and was basically a version which didn't make very much noise of what we now know to be the standard SMG. The standard SMG is still in the game and looks and acts almost identically except it just makes a little bit more noise but the silenced version uh, back in the day again SMGs still weren't that great but it's meant to be a tactical way to approach people. We've got the silenced pistols which are still in the game and there was a limited time mode where you could just use the silenced weapons, which was really, really fun. Um, but the suppressed SMGs wasn't really the biggest deal in the world when it was taken out. It didn't have too much use. It still did, did make noise whilst it was shot, so it wasn't completely silent. Um, but it was a cool first addition for Epic Games, trying something new with the way that weapons were added in. Since then, alongside the silenced pistol and the silenced scar, we've seen a few more variations of other guns in the game with a suppressor on them as well.
well, and this was the very first one. Now, I always said that the drum gun is amazing. This is like a beefier, more inaccurate, just more insane version of a drum gun. It's the LMG. This thing had a bigger magazine size than the drum gun, would fire even more hectically, and was even better at just destroying bases really quickly, but you have to be pretty much right on top of someone because of the hip fire being so bad to actually deal any damage to other humans. Uh, it was a really cool weapon and uh, did a lot of stuff well, as we said, with destroying bases and pushing people in really close situations. But ultimately, it was just a little bit of a random weapon. If you did connect with a random headshot and you're really close to someone, it would melt you quite quickly. But there was no real skill involved in that because of just how random the weapon was. So I think Fortnite took it out simply because they wanted to control the spraying weapons that were in the game alongside obviously the vaulting for drum gun 2, meaning that they wanted you to be more precise, more accurate, and not just basically hold the trigger and shoot everything you see. As we move closer and closer to the current game of Fortnite and what we know is in the game at the moment, let's look back at the dual pistols. These things were initially added in as an epic and legendary weapon, but were since changed to blue and purple rarity and were a weapon that I was never that great with, but with good accuracy, it was almost like a pocket shotgun if you got both of those pistol shots into someone's head they would get deleted and could be absolutely lethal in close range situations and even longer range situations if you just stood there and fired off a few bursts of these weapons they could be seriously seriously good Reasoning for taking them out, I'm not too sure. I feel like they're a really cool and unique item, and I would love it for there to actually be more dual-wielding weapons in the game. We know of dual-wielding SMGs, even dual-wielding shotguns in other games. Not that Fortnite needs another ridiculously good shotgun, but just saying, it's something they could do, and maybe they'll take inspiration from what the dual pistols was and turn it into something similar in the form of another weapon. Going back to items, the Klinger Grenade. This one is seriously fun, and has always been seriously fun. If you get Get stuck by it not so much but if you stick someone else it's awesome this thing I found really effective at actually just attacking other people's bases and blowing up the walls that they had to try and protect them initially dealing a lot of damage through structures as well this thing was really really strong but has since been removed and is not in the game anymore with alternate grenades in there instead. Um, the clean grenade, I would love to see return. It was a very unique, very funny weapon, and I feel like it was almost put in there just to test it out and see what everyone thought of it, and I don't think we'll see the return of it within Fortnite, but I definitely think this isn't the end of different types of grenades within the game, varying from the impulse grenades going all the way up to the new TNT. Fortnite are always thinking of new ways to put explosives in the game, so I can't wait to see what they do next. Talking of grenades, the Shockwave nade was an awesome upgrade to what was the original impulse grenade. Now, for those guys that played during uh, April Fools, I think it was, directly on April the 1st this year, the impulse grenade was changed to be just ridiculous and fly you so, so far in the air. I actually was away and didn't get a chance to use it at the time, but the shockwave nade almost incorporated what that fun event gave the world of Fortnite into a safer version in the fact that actually you don't take any full damage, but what it will do is blast you through structure as well and was a really effective way to not only send enemies flying if you just want to get rid of them but also send you into enemy bases as well and as I said I'm sure Fortnite have got some more grenade ideas up their sleeve hence we've got rid of this one so keep an eye out. One weapon that has almost made it to the current day in Fortnite but was cut short last season is the semi-auto sniper. One of the very first snipers in the game since the beginning this thing was a little bit of a weird weapon allowing you to shoot a lot faster than the bolt action sniper but dealing less damage and having the obvious arc and drop off that we know snipers to have it was quite an inaccurate weapon but could be used really effectively for people that were trying to peek you and trying to get that headshot lined up more accurately with a bolt action you could sit there and just spam away with a semi-auto and not have to worry if a few shots missed it was actually really good and I generally got caught off guard by it quite a few times uh, if I was trying to peek someone and didn't realize that they had already lined up a shot with their semi-auto, it could down you pretty quickly. Obviously making room for more snipers in the game, with one of my favorite weapons now being the heavy sniper, I think I just wanted to clear out the snipers that are in Fortnite currently and allow room for the hunting, the bolt, and the heavy to have their own space. 
I don't think this thing's gonna return. If they decide to remove it, there was a reason they decided to remove it, especially since it had been in the game since the beginning. So it's unfortunate if you didn't get a chance to use it. You've only been playing Fortnite for the last season or so. You've just missed that. Alongside that, we also got the vaulting of another weapon in the form of the guided missile launcher. When this thing first came out, it was hilariously fun. I remember me and Rich teaming up and I just sat behind him as he built around me and I just fired off rockets and went in and got people with them. It was absolutely amazing and there were lots of cool little things you could do with it like self rocket riding but ultimately there were a lot of glitches surrounding it as well and it was considered to be a little bit too strong. It was actually removed at one point then brought back into the game but has ultimately been vaulted again and I wouldn't be surprised if this thing returned to be honest with you. It's a fun weapon, it's a unique weapon and I think Fortnite may have some more ideas for it up their sleeve because of how much it is a fan favourite and just how much fun this thing is. We are now almost up to the current day. The last few things to be removed include the chiller trap, which I find a little bit weird, but they put the chiller trap in, allowing you to actually put ice on your feet and then introduce season seven, which was literally a snowy part of the map with ice, but took the chiller trap out. Not too sure why, maybe they didn't want the ice traps all over the map. I really don't know why. I thought it would make a lot of sense to keep it in for Season 7 personally. Uh, but it was certainly a unique item and the first time I used it properly, you may remember me ending my game in this unfortunate fashion and uh, just throwing myself off the map. It could actually be used really effectively to get around the map quickly. It was basically like having skates on your feet, uh, but ultimately you didn't have much control of yourself. I actually was just really scared whenever I put the ice track down and my feet were frozen because it would last a decent while and I just felt so out of control. Um, but there are other parts of the map which now cause you to have the same effect. If you go to where the frozen part of Greasy Grove is in season seven, you can get frozen feet as well and basically feel what the chiller trap was like, but no longer in the game. Alongside that, is also the removal and the vaulting of the double bow shotgun. It was expected that one shotgun would be vaulted with the introduction of the new epic and legendary pump. I honestly thought it was going to be the heavies. I'm really, really surprised they kept in both the heavy and the pump variants in legendary and epic form. But hey, it's Fortnite, it's not my game, and as a result, the double barrel was gone. It was a really strong weapon, for sure. I mean, if you miss uh, those two initial shots with it and had to go in for the long reload, you were kind of screwed. But if you got really into people's faces before the shotgun nerf, it would absolutely obliterate them and melt their faces off. And was a really good pushing, barrel stuffing as it's called, rushing weapon. And uh, I would like to see it return at some point, but for the moment it's been in the game a decent amount of time. There's a lot of shotguns already, and I don't think it's going to be coming back soon. Woo! Jeez. There's a lot of things Fortnite have removed. Now the last thing is the first thing we started off with, funnily enough, in the form of the Infinity Blade. Just to talk about it a little bit, it is a mythic weapon, a rarity above legendary. The only two mythics we've had so far in the game have come in the form of the Infinity Gauntlet, which is a really awesome Thanos limited time mode, and then this Infinity Blade as well. And I was thinking it's quite ironic how both are called Infinity items, um, but didn't make it very long in the game at all. They haven't returned since. The blade was taken out because it was considered too strong, too overpowered, especially late game. And when the Infinity Blade was kept in pro tournaments and everyone was up in arms about it, it was too much for Epic to handle and they put out a statement saying that it had been vaulted. It may return at the moment, we do not know, but that actually wraps up and uh, summarized everything that has been in the game. As someone that's played the game since launch, the only thing I didn't get to try was that Zapatron Sniper. And uh, I would love to see it return simply for the fact that it looks absolutely insane. Let me know if there's any weapons that you didn't get to use that you wish you had, or if there's any weapons that you did like and were vaulted and you're annoyed about and would love to see back within the world of Fortnite. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you have. Check out more videos on screen and in my playlist to see all the other Fortnite videos I have made. I hope you have an amazing day. It was a lot of fun going down memory lane, taking a look at all of these old weapons. And I'll see you soon where no doubt more weapons will be vaulted, more will be added into the game, and I'll be keeping you up to date with all of it. Goodbye.